everybody. I'm Ernie Hatmaker. I'm watching where I step on this hot, hot evening. It's about 6 p.m. Um, I was out here from, I guess, 9 o'clock this morning. I actually know. Um, more like 7, yeah. I was out here at about 7 o'clock this morning and I stayed until just shy of 11.15 and I left and the reason I left was because it was hotter than you know what <laughs> and it's very humid out here and I'm back um, I'm wearing dry clothes now and I came back because there was another bed that I wanted to get in and, and do a little bit of weeding with the the um the onions and the greens but anyway I thought you know I haven't really done a June garden tour so that's what I'm gonna do for you guys if, if you're interested stick around and if you're not thanks for sticking around as long as you did now I keep my trusty hoe with me because I don't have a Moses stick <laughs> um, and that's just so I can toss the, the snakes I run across that don't run away from me it's not so I can chop them to death but this is like long and it has a heavy end and it's flat enough you know it's a hose so the first thing I want to show you is the compost bin that's the compost bin that it made with the pallet and you can see there's actual compost on it including a recycled decomposing coffee cup which it's already started to decompose because that's what it's supposed to do um, there are people driving by and they're waving um, I have noticed something um, that's kind of cool and it's people will like stop slow down and they'll start like staring at what's going on like hmm either my grass really needs to be cut or they're liking what they see <laughs> this is the wild animal food plot and you can see um, I've been keeping up with my fertilizing of the corn and the beans are starting to get big enough where you can actually see Look at that guy. Hi, my name is Fred. My name is Fred. Hello, Fred. Fred the dragonfly. This camera is literally like an inch from his face. He's not moving. What's going to happen if I touch him? Okay. Fred flew away. He's not happy about it. I just thought about something. I just named something Fred. Not Fireball Fred, but it's pretty close. So anyway, that's the wild animal food plot. The corn is growing a lot. There are lots of dragonflies, and hopefully they're getting these mosquitoes. Some of them are a little more shy than others. I don't really have any, well, I do have some weeding to do. I'm just not doing it <laughs> because I'm pretty much going to let this area, other than fertilizing, you know, and I'm really not going to do that much because the beans are really kicking off in this area. All right, so come with me to the first spot that we come to directly across from from there, and you can see I've got um, well, there's a few marigolds popping up. Um, there's a um, a few weeds in there. But I'm waiting on. Uh, my peppers to pop up. <laughs> I want pop-up peppers. 
so you can see the difference between the marigold which has that dark stem and a weed which is going to have a nice furry stem but it's not dark at all and those weeds pop up everywhere and they become really tall there's a bunch of them out here they they are not marigolds have a few pumpkins here that are doing really good they're in the same bed I'm really looking forward to my peppers coming up though. Um, I've got a few nasturtium in this bed. You can see my footprint from the other day when it rained. Yeah, that wasn't too fun sinking into the mud here, but it really was that soft. I'm sweating profusely already and I've only been out here, I don't know, how long has this video been going on? There's another dragonfly staring at me. Let's see if we can get a dragonfly selfie. It looks like a helicopter. Look at him. Hello. Hi. <laughs> okay, so here's some cinder block. Oh, we got this bag of mulch for 24 cents. And you know why? Because it was opened. And people don't want open mulch at the store, even if the forklift did it or whatever. So yeah, 24 cents for that bag. Anyway, um, these cinder blocks are going to be doing something really fun. And those pavers are there for another reason. So you saw the dragonfly. <laughs> you saw the, the bed with, without the peppers and, and uh, tomatoes in it right now. So let's move on to our mulberry tree. There's a dragonfly guarding that one also. That dragonfly isn't that fun. Look at it. It's very upset that I'm here. Do you want to talk to the camera? Say hi, YouTube. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello. So anyway, that berry there's been a bunch of them and so far the birds aren't after them so this mulberry tree is just fun 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 and I should pick that berry but honestly I'm not in the mood for mulberries especially just one and we approach Sunflower Row now I've actually had to cut some berries what in the world is this? Oh, that leaf looks like a worm. <laughs> Look at that. That looks like a worm. That was a curled up flower leaf thingy. So look. That's an assassin bug. Um, I believe that's the third stage before it becomes a full-grown wheel bug and those things eat stink bugs they look a lot like stink bugs except they have this big hump on their back but it's a wheel bug look look how short i am i mean i already know i'm short um i'm five four <laughs> so these guys are pretty big gonna open up all right so after sunflower row this is um, it's Fort Hook spinach but honestly um, it popped out just after the rain and then this Sun is just horrible and I'm not really sure how well they're gonna do you can barely see them in there see that that green those little sprouts. They don't look like they're doing good, so I don't know. But then we have um, some kale. I believe, yeah, this is kale at the back. Um, I don't, it might be Nero de Tuscany. I'm not really sure which, which kale it is. But it's at the back. 
So I'm, I'm trying to always have a plan, have some, some backups, etc., etc., etc. So we actually completed our path um, around the corn. And you can see I still need to weed the circular flower bed. You can barely tell it's a circle back there because there's even grass growing in the little path that I made to, to walk in. And I know you have not seen the time. There's even grass growing in the time bucket. Like how, how did it even get in the bucket? This time, if you remember when I first brought it out to this place, the time was only on this side. Now it's all over the pot thanks to those flowers. There's also a piece of mulch in there. How is this stuff getting in there? Actually, I think I know how the grass seed is getting in there because when the yard is mowed, I think it's, yeah. Anyway, you can see some of the flowers coming in. Those are flowers. And you remember those weeds I showed you that look like marigolds? You see how, how tall they're getting? This isn't even as tall as they get. This is just as tall as they've gotten since they've last been checked. This is the onions and greens bed. And it's the next one um, that I'm going to weed. And I'm going to do it like the corn, I think. Um, there will be mulch in it because this is going to eventually be um, a pretty big, yeah, it's going to be a pretty big um, raised bed. I might divide it into two so it's easier to reach across. So off the path, because um, I don't know if you can see, although I can see some ants, look at that. The ants have decided to move in over here. And diatomaceous earth will be on the menu. <laughs> um, if you can see, it's almost like a triangular pattern there. That's by design. See, now Ed was like, how come the sunflower thing has to arc and move weird over? You know, it's not straight. It's not perfect. But it was because I wanted to make a triangle here in a path. And I've also got these guys coming out, which I've got to trim their leaves a little bit. You can see what they're hiding. Look at that. And the ants are going to bring aphids, and that's not going to be good. They're moving in because the soil is nice and loose. It's not dry. Well, it's not wet, but it's not, not too dry. And these look okay. They're not producing anything yet. But these two are a few weeks younger. Um, I planted them a little bit later so that it'd be more like a succession planting and I even deeply planted a couple extra seeds so they come up later. I've moved some of the tomatoes so that they stay away from each other and can give me some more pure seeds. This is a bush goliath and it is starting to bush and I think I'm going to let it flop over um, the side that I know that these squash aren't coming out. We'll go to the other side. Got a few flowers in there. Don't see squash bugs yet, but you know, I'm going to keep watching. Those are um, the other side of the strawberries. So, anyway, um, these are the onions. Ed had started um, weeding this onion bed out. But um, it, it was really hot, y'all. It, it was hot. It was crazy hot. It's almost the season for onions to come out of the ground. And then we'll put the onions in uh, buckets and stuff like that. Not these, but the next set of onions that I plant. Um, they'll probably be bunching onions because they do really well for us in containers. But um, we could do Spanish onions, too. Kind of like the ones that I put in the... Uh, the seed swap. So anyway, those things that look like marigolds, they're all on the outside of the corn, which I will show you now. Do you see how tall those are? Those are not marigolds. 
this is the ground that's them they are really tall and uh they loved every bit of the rain now you can see this is a different color mulch um the place we were getting it that was you know pretty good deal ran out of the red color and so we're using the brown to fill in and so this corn pass actually got done which is nice the sunflowers if you can see that this sunflower is facing the other direction this morning when the sun was out here it looked over there this sunflower and this one and that one they followed the sun and so they spin around all day long following the sun so I've got beans right there and look at that fake morning glory beside it they look almost like the beans almost so there's some weeding to be done in there. This is Swiss chard. I'm going to um, take this probably in the next week. Um, and I'm going to cut it down some. And I don't know if I'm going to juice it or if we're going to like steam it kind of like spinach or something like that. It's going to be good however we do it. And I'll let you get a good look at the corn patch from back here. And I'm actually standing by the uh, strawberry and watermelon bed. More fake marigolds that have to be weeded out. What is this stuff in here? Flower, lettuce, something fun. This watermelon is about to reach this pot. So, and look at that, there's one of those fake marigolds there. It looks like something hopped over there, so that's probably not good. And there's the other watermelon. Last year, I did a watermelon in a container and we used laundry baskets so this year um, even though it's kind of starting late i might do that again just to have a safe safer uh, alternative something like that hey look there's ed hello ed it's it mm -hmm. so these look like beans these are, are indeed uh, beans that'll bush and spread, and these are flowers. They are dwarf sunflowers and Mexican sunflowers, and they have a couple of black aphids, look like, on them. And behind them are some greens that we're going to have also, and maybe a squash or two thrown in there just for fun, see how well they do. Here is a Mexican sunflower, and it's already got another head on the side of it. Look at that. And there is a tomato in there, you see correctly. And the tomato is not going to do as well with that sunflower. I dropped my hoe, but I'm going to keep hoeing. This is um, a giant Marconi pepper, which I've never planted before. I've never had one that I recall. And I've got another one somewhere. I'll, I'll have to find it. I'm sure we'll see it. And these are purple bell peppers. And they look like they start off purple, which is interesting. This is another bush goliath, which, you know, the other one is over there on the other side of the A-frame. This is an Ed. Aaron brought the grass eating dogs over. What's going on, Lou? Hey, Friday. Hey, Cosmo. Ooh. 
Ooh, Lord, I smell dog breath when I walk through here. And Cooper, who is facing the opposite direction of everybody else. Ed is putting the final thing of uh, mulching for this snow pea bed, which the peas are already doing better since they were weeded. Ed, is, his glasses are fogging up, aren't they? No, they're filling up with sweat. Is it hot out here, Ed? <laughs> Grasshopper, not uh, grasshopper, uh, dragonflies back. Mm. Where was I? Right now, these have not been planted. but they will be. In fact, past that brick hasn't been planted yet, but I'm going to do um, um, crowder peas or some kind of bush bean so that we can have quite a few beans. The tea peas have been weeded a little bit. Most of the tea peas have. You could tell which ones we've gotten to versus the ones that we haven't. Something's already been eating these beans that have come up. These are morning glories. These, um, they're not the fake ones, but they kind of look similar. And then the, the squash all around those CPs. And yes, that's a tomato there. Um, we lost all of our Roma tomatoes in the rain. They all drowned, and it was kind of sad. So we're at the the trellises, the cattle panels. Um, there's not a whole lot going on. These tomatoes didn't need water earlier, but they do now. Look in there. See if you can see what I see. There's something in that little hole back there. I don't know if I like that part of milk jug gardening because the spiders love to hang out. Don't look very giant. So anyway, this is um, a red beef steak tomatoes that I have that I'm going to put on that CP. That's a, what they call a robber fly, horse fly. And those are more beans in there. They're Kentucky Wonder Pole beans and they'll be coming up because they don't seem they don't seem to be rooting very well in this um, dirt now that it's compacted again. The cattle panels need to be um, weeded a little bit. Um, we're having to weed less around here now that the mulch is in and these plants are starting to climb like they're supposed to. Arkansas Travelers, look at that guy. He's got some lime on his sleeve, needs to get washed off. Um, so that combined weed right there coming through the mulch. Now that white stuff that's on the tomatoes is not diatomaceous earth. It's actually um, garden lime. And we got that tip from Eric Hale. Um, he's not really putting out a lot of content right now, but he's got a lot of uh, knowledge 
um, about gardening and, and different things, especially peppers. But garden lime is a really good way to, to give your um, plants magnesium and calcium. And it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying the bag of toner. So, pepper, a squash that's barely tied up, crowder peas. This is okra. Now this is also a flower bed that the weeds have really gotten away from us. I mean, you can still see the the flowers coming out, and there are some taller flowers in here. But yeah, it seems as though like these are flowers. But it seems like the weeds have taken over. And I might just let them stay that way. This is corn, and I have to go back and look in my notebook to see there's a spider that wants to, to get out desperately. But I'll have to look in my notebook and see what kind of spider that is, but not spider, corn, because I completely forgot. You can see some of these flowers here. This is mint. And this is the bed that's got tomatoes and some beans in it. And this is what happens when your tomatoes drown in the field. But they're coming back, so that's good. This one already needs to be tied again. I just tied the other one yesterday. And now this one's leaning over. These Arkansas travelers, they need constant intervention to keep them off the ground. Let's check for blossom and rot. You guys see any? These brandy wines are finally coming up, and I have to weed again because there's also wheat finally coming up. And you can barely tell the tomatoes from everything else. Beans. Nail on the mulch. Almost done, but not quite. We still haven't shown the pallets. Um, the, the stuff that's growing in the two teepees that are closest to the pallets. So let's go see that stuff. All right, this is the teepee that's been giving us the, look at that, look at that grasshopper. Uh, yeah, it's been giving us grasshoppers too. But it's been giving us yellow squash, yellow zucchini, and green zucchini. There's two types of squash in this bucket and one type in that bucket. What's in here? Beans. I don't know. I actually don't know what's in here. Yeah, Kentucky Wonder Beans and Dwarf Nasturtium. The Nasturtium won't climb, the beans will. Arkansas Travelers. This Boston Pickling Cucumber needs to be tied to the post again. There's another dragonfly. These banana peppers are getting very big. I want to see the cabbages. So I trimmed all underneath there and there were snails and slugs and there's mosquitoes on me right now. But I took care of that, and I haven't seen any since I trimmed. So I'm going to have to keep those bottom leaves kind of cut. So there's some flowers in the middle. Um, the fertilizer didn't do too well with them. This is a, a yellow bell, if you remember what this is called. It's the bellyacre bell. This is a pink brandy wine, and brandy wines 
uh, honestly, they just don't do too well for me. It's why I planted so many this year in buckets and in the ground. The sweet potatoes, I might have to just pull them and see what, what they look like because even though there are new leaves coming out, the old ones are just kind of dying because it's so old. That sweet potato was planted back in, what, October, November. I've been getting a lot of tomatoes off this super sweet, but it drowned. It, it's actually recovered pretty well. I'm going to be harvesting those lettuce seeds as soon as a lot more of them turn brown. These are all new babies and most of them are seed, seed plants. We just keep our cups because, you know, you never know when you're going to plant something. See this lettuce? Or not lettuce, uh, celery. Somebody told me that I should just leave it and see what happens. Just keep treating it. And sure enough, the stalks are starting to get thicker. It's older than dirt now, but the stalks are starting to get thicker. This citronella is kind of leaning, which probably means it needs to be watered. So is this, uh, uh, yeah, I'll split it between these three tomatoes and that, um, citronella. Sunflower, which, you know, they got burned a little bit with, uh, fertilizer. The mustard is coming along. You can see that the seeds are soon going to be plump and, and uh, we'll get a whole bunch of them out of there. And then I'm going to have Erin sitting over there with Pluto. She, she's going to make a ton of mustard with our mustard seeds. Right, Erin? Carrots. More carrots. Yeah, the citronella is kind of droopy. More Swiss chard. You see the deal. I've harvested quite a bit of deal, and I'm getting some more. Here's the deal. Yeah, here's, here's the, the deal. deal. Here's some the sweet deal. mint. Um, the citronella right here. Yep, that tomato. The two Cherokee purples over there. Yes. Yeah, those two. And then um, this tomato here in the white bucket and a citronella. Both sets of nasturtiums have come out and the, the bugs are liking them a lot. I haven't even eaten any of the flowers yet. You can eat the leaves too and I haven't eaten any of them. These peas are doing pretty good. The sage coming along. Catnip. The trash can potatoes. They're still doing pretty well. Um, squash. It's got a few yellow leaves, um, but it's actually recovering too. And this right here, that deal I threw over there. And we're going to look at Elliot. You guys haven't seen Elliot in a while. And there are ants that have decided to pile up around Elliot's stake. Elliot's doing okay except for the ants crawling all over him. But like I said, um, some diatomaceous earth around the mound will take care of that. That grasshopper's not doing his job. These mosquitoes are biting. I keep saying grasshopper. This is not a grasshopper. No, it's not a grasshopper. That is a dragonfly. I think they're.